Hey guys, it's Andrew from the vlog Pine and Prospect Home and today is a fun video because I'm going to be sharing some different ways that you can add charm to your kitchen uh, using kitchen tools, everyday items. Um, I've done a video in the past about adding charm to your kitchen, but it was more so like I talked about my corbels and adding stone and beams. Uh, Today I'm talking more specifically about actual items that you use on a daily basis. And this is just something that I have recently become very passionate about. I feel like if you're going to use it every day, you might as well make it beautiful. <laughs> and so the very first thing that I want to talk about today though is just everyday kitchen towels. Oh my goodness, this is so important. <laughs> so I have some hanging here underneath my beautiful antique cutting board that my husband um, got for me for Christmas. I love beautiful striped, I, what is it with me in stripes? I don't know, I have probably too many stripes. I'm wearing stripes all the time, I love stripes. Uh, but I usually grab my kitchen towels from like a Marshalls or Home Goods. They are so cheap there. You can get a package of three for like five or six bucks. And uh, this brand here, Working Kitchen, is one of my favorites. Of course, you've got to get some really great <laughs> oven mitts. And uh, these are kind of dirty. I should probably wash them. But I just think that the linens you use in your kitchen, even your apron, you know, I'm not a huge apron wearer and I feel like I should wear mine more because I love mine. It's beautiful. Um, in fact, it's hanging up right behind the camera. Let me grab it. There we go. Absolutely gorgeous. And again, I got this at Marshall's, I believe, and I just have it hanging in my kitchen. I really don't wear it often and I know some people they wear their aprons almost daily and maybe I just need to get into the habit because I do splatter things on myself all the time. In fact, today I'm making chicken tortilla soup and I splattered a little bit of the tomato sauce on my shirt. So I probably should get into the habit of wearing aprons more, but um, those are the places I like to look for beautiful, uh, charming linens for your kitchen. Okay, so next I wanna talk about washing dishes because <laughs> let me just say, I wash a lot of dishes. We cook almost every night of the week. Um, I've talked about that in my frugal video. You can save so much money and it's just healthier, better for you, better for your family. So um, we got this gorgeous sink last year and I have a whole video about it beautiful faucet, but what else can we add to our kitchens to just make the dishwashing experience more beautiful? <laughs> we always want to make it more beautiful, right? Because washing dishes is not the most glamorous thing in the world. So I have a few fun items I want to share with you. I found the prettiest little soap pump at Target a week or two ago. I'm going to link it for you guys so you can go and grab it. They have so many gorgeous options. I can get lost sometimes in Target. They, you know, I tend <laughs> I tend to enjoy vintage items more, but sometimes you can't always find everything vintage. So Target is just a great source and I have this adorable soap pump that I want to show you guys. <laughs> How cute is that? Is it going to focus for me? Um, and it's got this really pretty uh, sort of chrome or stainless pump on it, really easy to use. And I just, of course, we use like a free and clear dish soap for it. But that's an, uh, just an item to think about. Instead of having some dish soap on the counter, consider putting it in a pretty little jar like this one. Um, a few other things that I wanted to share with you. This little iron stone dish was my grandfather's. It is so beautiful. You guys know how much I love iron stone and it was, it was in his bathroom and I took it and what a perfect place to set your sponge or your little scrubber. Again, this was a Marshall's find and I just love it. I think it's so pretty, um, but all of these items, in my opinion, make the dishwashing experience so much more fun and beautiful. I have to talk about these beautiful roses. Aren't those so pretty? 
I just have these in a lovely, this is an old, uh, my, my sweet friend from high school grabbed these for me. This is from a local dairy uh, farm and that's no longer in business and she brought me four of these little glasses and I just think that they are so pretty. Every time I have fresh flowers uh, or the boys bring in like weeds, <laughs> dandelions, things like that, I'll stick them in these little jars and keep them next to the sink or on the windowsill and again, you know, just one of those everyday items that just brings joy. And I know they're just things and they're silly, but I just love these little vintage dairy jars. They're so pretty. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is salt and pepper. All right, so I am a huge proponent of using real salt. Uh, I, I love Himalayan pink salt. It's probably my favorite. You can see that I'm almost out. I gotta grab some more. But I just got this little marble jar and it was actually thrifted, but it has a Target tag on it and it is so pretty. It makes it nice and easy to grab your salt. Oops, I'm gonna spill pepper all over me here. But I just keep that right out. <laughs> we go through it quickly um, to season our pasta water and you know we roast a lot of veggies, potatoes. So that makes it just really handy to grab. And then I keep my pepper in a similar container. And unfortunately, this is from one of my, uh, one of my best friends opened a home decor shop down in Tennessee, and she sent this to me. All right, so I actually have an entire video all about like thrifted kitchen finds. Um, a lot of the items in my kitchen were thrifted. So wooden spoons, rolling pins, and you know, you can clean them. There are all kinds of tutorials and sites online for how to clean like wooden cutting boards, things that you purchase secondhand. Some people might be grossed out about that, which I totally understand, but you can find such cool carved antique spoons at thrift stores. I've gotten some amazing ones over the years. Here are just a few examples. I love this little, uh, it's like a tablespoon, a wooden tablespoon, which is so perfect. And I love these little, these small mini ones that I find. My boys just have so much fun with these. So like I said, I will put a card for that video all about thrifted kitchen items so you can check it out and see what I look for at thrift stores. But today's video is more about sort of a mixture of old and new. So another thing I want you to look out for, which I think adds so much charm to your kitchen, are glass canisters. Oh, I just love timeless, the look of timeless glass canisters sitting on your countertop filled with oats, flowers, uh, whatever it is that you <clears throat> bake with and use often. Um, I have some sitting here. I like to keep my gluten-free flour blend in one smaller canister next to our oats. And then I have a larger canister over in my pantry area uh, where I keep regular flour, which I am out of everything right now. I am going grocery shopping tomorrow and I need to stock up on everything. Uh, I hate that you run out all at the same time, it seems. So this little pantry area is so precious to me. It's one of the first projects my husband and I worked on. And I wanna give it a little bit of an update, a makeover. Um, but for now, you can just see how beautiful all of these glass canisters look in this area. Um, like I said, I need to fill them up again. <laughs> but I just think they add so much charm just, you know, exactly what they would have used years ago. And um, I know sometimes it's easy to want to go for the plastic because it's cheaper. It's lighter, to be honest, when I'm hauling my big flower jar over to the mixer. It's, it's heavier for sure, but it's still just the beauty of it just makes me smile. And sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it sounds silly, but beauty outweighs function, <laughs> which not always, I know, I know. Not always. Some of you are probably rolling your eyes, including my husband, but that's just one thing that I love to incorporate. Now, when it comes to glass, don't forget about glass cake stands too. I have a couple different cake stands actually. I've talked about one that I actually made using a candlestick and a marble platter. <laughs> so funny. Um, I will put a link to that video here, but keep an eye out for beautiful uh, cake stands with lids the perfect place to display desserts. 
When you bake a beautiful cake, the last thing you want to do is stick it in like a plastic tote and have it stored over in the fridge where no one can see it. Uh, home, homemade goods and baked goods and breads, they just make life beautiful. So put them out on display on your countertops and look for some glass uh, cake stands with domes, you know, lids on them so your food stays fresh when you're thrifting as well. So the next thing I wanna talk about that you would use all the time every day are uh, ironstone or stoneware mixing bowls. Now I am so blessed. I got a lot from both my mom and my grandfather when he passed and just sitting out on the counter, they are so beautiful. I love using these to store uh, veggies, things like avocados. Sometimes they are perfect for actual mixing. Now, I'll be honest, I use my KitchenAid a lot and my husband got me the bowl with the handle. So, you know, whenever I'm pouring batter into a dish, I prefer that that lighter bowl uh, rather than this like heavy stoneware bowl. But still, you can use them for a lot of different things, even just letting your bread rise in them. Oh, they are just so lovely. Um, let me grab a few of them here. And by the way, I will link some of the glass canisters that I have used, I forgot to mention. I'll, I'll put all of these links in a blog post to make it real simple for you guys so you can go and, and find those things easily. <clears throat> but how, how beautiful are these? I mean, goodness gracious. These two are probably my favorite. I have another one actually on my coffee table. I just think they are so pretty and I just have them sitting right out next to my mixer. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about are scoops and I have a new one to show you and a vintage one to show you. Uh, so these beautiful scoops, I actually uh, got this one on Amazon and I wanna get more, um, but they just add so much charm to your kitchen. Stick them in your glass jars. They make it so easy to scoop out flour, oats, things like that. Um, but you can also keep an eye out for really neat vintage scoops as well. So uh, here's an example of one that my mom got me. I have been wanting to try hanging this maybe in my kitchen somewhere. I've got some flour on me, but just super cute. This is, I think, a cup measure. That's what it looks like. But what a cute little scoop to stick inside your flour jar or to use in your oats or whatever. So, um, or you could just have it sitting out. So the next thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about, and probably the last, I think, are antique and vintage cutting boards. Cutting boards are something we use every single day. And if you can keep some out that have some charm and character, then why not find some beautiful ones? Now, some of the ones that you see in my kitchen, I don't actually use. They are for decor purposes only. This one is gorgeous. The one on the wall that my husband got me, it came from Europe. It was a little bit pricey and I'm probably just gonna let that be wall decor. <laughs> but um, next time you are out and about, uh, keep an eye out for cutting boards that have a lot of character, that are really beautiful, that you can leave out on your counter. I'm gonna clean up this kitchen and <laughs> wash some dishes with my pretty little soap pump and scrubber. And uh, I always have fun chatting with you guys. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.